I don't know if this is going to make a difference. We'll try it though. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, there's been a lot of stuff since the last time I, I kind of showed this game off. Um, like I say, it's been a couple of years. I took a break to go work on Pushnir. Now that that development's coming along nicely, I, uh, I'm kind of getting back into it a little bit here. And I'm kind of hoping that um, setting a bit of a schedule, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Let me just walk through some of the new stuff. So I've implemented turrets. Um, the game is going to start you off with this main one here and your like your home space station. I'm um, just off off the... I was going to say off the coast, but obviously it's not a coast. Just in orbit of uh, planet... I'm calling it Rose for now, obviously, because it looks kind of like a rose. Um, the idea is that this swarm is like located your... the last like human race like stronghold. Um, and it's like just a ragtag group in that one little space station. So the game starts off, you're under attack. You got to quickly defeat the um, enemies that are um, around you. Now, obviously, the turret helps with that. Um, they're dropping things. Uh, these are I don't I don't remember which uh, mineral it is. Sometimes they drop like an armor thing, which will repair my my shields. Um, and they also spawn out of wormholes. So I'll just let myself get damaged a little bit, and I'll show you um, the armor repair. So I have an energy bar, the purple and pink one there, that kind of changes color as it grows. Um, turns to blue when it's full. Um, that energy bar like gets used up when you fire and eventually you get onto single shot because you're just so low in power if you hold it down. Um, if you just move around you don't um, have to use up any of your energy. But um, if you end up warping, uh, just like Armada, you know, it'll use up your full bar, you can't even shoot. So you gotta be kinda careful with like using that around enemies. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go take some damage here. Oops, the problem is we're too close to the, the turret. There we go. You can see my green bar below me starting to go down when I take damage from the enemies. Yeah, so if I just quickly go over here and scan and pick up one of these armors things, you see that my armor now has been replenished. There's also, um, I don't think I'm going to make it spawn with the player uh, by default. I think I'm going to make it one of these deployables, which I'll talk about in a second. But there's a thing up here at the top right. It looks like a big plus on the on the scanner. Um, I'm calling this a healing pad, essentially, for now. But it works pretty much the same as um, pretty much the same as like the getting the armor from the enemies. Um, if you stand in it, it kind of recharges your thing every second. Um, so it makes it really nice. Like if you um, if you have it in your inventory, you place it down. Um, and then you know you can help defeat an enemy quicker. Um, it, it doesn't currently take damage, but I can see it in the future that if it's going to be deployable, that the um, you know the players are going to use when they're out in the field, that it's got to take damage and eventually get destroyed. So um, the enemies right now are really stupid. Um, they just kind of fly right into you. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to improve that um, ASAP with some actual like decent flying. <clears throat> um, I would like to see a few things like one of them like when an enemy gets close enough maybe this far away uh, it'll orbit you and start to strafe um, like go around in a circle uh, and then always be facing you as it flies like left or right um, that way it makes it like you have to kind of follow it with your controller um, I want to I do want to keep this sort of like dumb behavior though um, because I do want to create like a sort of a suicidal one um, that like it's got almost no health but as it gets close to you and blows up it's gonna damage you as well so you do take physical damage from getting hit it's minuscule right now because it was really annoying to try to debug stuff um, but that is in there um, so just like Armada I'm gonna have in the store some sort of like impact webbing or something like that that helps negate the uh, the damage that you take from getting actually rammed um, I don't have any plans currently for offering like phased enemies like an armada, which if you've never played it, essentially like every second or every two seconds the enemies would like disappear for just a second. Like you could sort of see them, but um, they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to take any damage, um, so they kind of hide, uh, and you have to time your shots more appropriately. So I sort of mentioned before uh, deployables. Um, I've I've put a few around here just to see how they work and actually function. This guy here is just like a level one, um, I forget what I called it, 
but it's like a pusher kind of it just like it doesn't really damage the enemy i mean it does a minuscule amount but um the idea of is is the idea of it is that you kind of get behind it and then it like pushes the enemies back um away from you and if you team up with like let's see if i can get him to do it here if you team up with a big turret like you you've got in the space station here it kind of pushes them back down towards that turret uh, well, that's the idea, anyway, and uh, keeps them in the like zone of fire um, for this like heavy duty turret. So this is just a level one turret, um, just a regular shooty turret. Um, it's pretty crap to be honest with you. Uh, this would be a level two, obviously two guns. Um, it's a little faster to rotate, a little faster to shoot. Uh, weapons are higher quality, you know that kind of thing. It just goes up as you go. Um, you're going to be able to build these deployables from uh, the stuff that I pick up. So, basically, when I destroy an enemy, uh, these enemies are really crap because I set their armor spawn rate to be, you know, 90% just for debugging purposes. But uh, maybe one will spawn here without... No, okay. I'm actually just going to fly away for a little bit and get further away from spawn. And uh, harder enemies should spawn here once I get far enough away. One thing, now that I'm away from all of the action, I'll show you too. Um... Armada had this really cool thing where, like, you'd hit the warp button, and then if you held it for long enough, it would, like, really kick in like that. So um, the idea is that for long travels, it's like you kind of get in this mode that so it's a lot faster. I still haven't decided how I'm going to make that work with your energy. Like, if it's going to, when you go halfway and you're not all the way full speed, maybe it's like, there's an enemy down there. Um, maybe it only uses half your bar or something. I don't know. I haven't really figured that out yet. So yeah, let me get down here, and uh, these enemies here are set to spawn the health thingy, like the armor, I think 20% of the time, or 10% of the time. Let's see. So this, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so here's, this is like one type of mineral. Um, and I, there's a, I think there's like eight types. I can't remember exactly how many I created. There's a whole bunch of different shapes that I used. Um, and they all have that sort of like reflective gem type thing. Um, and essentially you carry them in your inventory and then you'll be able to go back to base and base and build or like buy stuff so you kind of like order the base to use your components to build you the deployables and then when you're out in space you'll be able to actually plant them so not only do the enemies take um, damage but so do the wormholes excuse the really crappy um, wormhole like placeholder art I had something that looked a little better um, a long time ago but um, for whatever reason, when I moved it from Unity, I think it was Unity 4, to be honest with you, that I was working on back in the day, to um, this new version of Unity. Uh, it just, this, the graphics stopped working, and it was a different particle system or something, so um, I've got to I've got to do a better job with the wormhole graphics, but for now, they function, right? So yeah, I've destroyed that wormhole, um, and uh, now no en more enemies, enemies can spawn, so essentially, like, the idea is that to give yourself a breather, and run around collect stuff um, you destroy the wormhole um, and new wormholes will spawn and the further you get away from spawn um, like origin essentially where you start the harder the enemies are so I have that all in there now um, although the enemies like their balance isn't really good it's pretty much all of the enemies have the same sort of damage um, it's essentially that part isn't really done yet but they do actually spawn they just all have the same numbers um, I threw in an asteroid field. I think it's around here somewhere, unless we destroyed it with all the firing. Yeah, okay, here we go. <clears throat> so some of the asteroids are above you and some of them are below you. This is It's meant to show you, like, sort of a 3D effect. The problem is that uh, it's hard to tell which, which enemies, or sorry, which asteroids are, like, above you and which ones are below you, which ones are directly in your path. So I'm going to have to do some sort of fun finagling, maybe make the... The ones that you can hit a diff like slightly different color so it's more obvious or I don't know. That's got to be figured out still. But the cool part is that you can actually like sort of dogfight in asteroids even with the dumb AI. right? So you can bring them into the asteroid field and hopefully they get stuck. I don't know. Um, you can actually destroy the asteroids as well. Okay. You're annoying. Blow up. Um, so if I just keep firing at like one of the asteroids, they do have health and they'll take damage. There's no effect um, yet when the asteroid gets shot. It would be nice to see like dust fly off or something, um, but I haven't done that yet.
Cool. So let me just talk a little bit about um, the schedule, like what I'm kind of planning on doing. I'm planning on doing every Wednesday um, a live stream just like this for an hour um, of Star Squadron development. So this, the first quarter of this hour obviously has been taken up with like, hey, here's what I've been doing for the past, you know, a little while, or here's what my plans are. Um, but as we get into these, like as weeks progress, I won't need to introduce quite so much because I'll just have assumed that you've been following it. Um, I may demo some of the stuff that's that I've done in between the live streams. So like if I work on the weekend on it um, and uh, I haven't actually shown it off yet, I'll definitely I'll definitely demo that, but I won't spend quite so much time introducing it each time. Um, and then I have in my, my calendar already like release a new version of Star Squadron every every Wednesday. So I'm going to do that directly after the live stream. So this live stream is going to be like, even if I did absolutely nothing um, the whole week, which is unlikely, um, when I finish the live stream, uh, I'll be able to publish that new version that it was built, like whatever 